Yes, good to see you. Areas of sectors, eh? so the area of a part of a circle. Now let, let's say they give me a radius here. What shall we do? Seven, seven meters. Yeah, a radius of seven meters. All right. And a sector is a part of a circle enclosed by two radii. Yeah. So this is another radius. So that is of course also seven meters. And then we have the minor sector, yeah, which is the smaller part of the two. Yeah? So this would be the minor sector. Okay. And then you would have the major sector, which would be the other side. Yeah. So it depends on what the question asks you. Are they interested in the minor or the major sector? Let's say they're interested in the minor sector. They give me this angle. Now we have to estimate now what is that? 110, 120? Let's do 125 degrees, okay? 125 degrees, okay. Now they're interested in the minor sector yeah, of my circle. So they're interested in the area of the yellow part. All right, now how do I find that? What do I have to do? Well, the area of a sector, the area of a sector yeah, equals, let me just get a new pen, just, it's almost finished, equals the complete area of my circle, well, that's pi r squared, yeah, times that fraction I'm interested in. And I always say, well, that's the angle, theta, yeah, that's again a Greek letter, theta, but you can say x, a, b, whatever out of, well, how many degrees do you have in a full turn? 360, indeed. Okay, so the area of my minor sector, let's say ms minor sector, um, is pi r squared, pi times the radius squared. The radius is seven, isn't it? Times, now which part am I interested in? I'm interested in 125 out of 360. Yeah, are we still following me? So it's pi times 49 times 125 out of 360. And sometimes it is a blessing that we can use a calculator. Eh? Make sure you write down those workings, yeah? Because it really doesn't take a lot of time. Actually, I'm convinced it actually saves you time if you write down your workings. All right, there we go, pi times 49, eh? seven squared, square number, times 125 out of 360, and that equals. Now, that equals to 53.45070834, and that corrected to three significant figures is one, two, three, the four stays at four, <coughs> or goes up to a five, that depends on the next one, so it's 53.5, excellent, that because that's a five or higher, so the four goes up, yeah. Unit is a meter area, so meter squared, all right. So the area of a sector, yeah, a sector is, is a part of a circle, yeah, enclosed by two radii, by two radiuses, yeah, so anyway, multiple, yeah, two of them over there, 53.5 meters squared. Now, let's say they would ask you for the major sector, the area of the major sector, then you should realize, well, then we're talking about this part. If they only give you this angle, well, then what do you have to do before you start calculating? Just got to find that angle, yeah? And naturally, that is 360 minus 125, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to squeeze it in over there. So in case the question would be, what is the area of the major sector? Then at first, uh, because which part of the circle is that? Well, that's 360 minus 125, which is 235 degrees. So I would do the same thing then. Pi r squared uh, times 235 out of 360. Yeah? And you will notice if you, do, if, you, if you calculate that now for yourself, the answer you get for this part, and if you plus that with this answer, what should you get then? then you should get the complete area, yeah? so pi r squared. Yeah? Perhaps you want to have a look. Yeah? So find out the area of the major sector, yeah? see what you get, then you plus that with the, uh, with the area of the minor sector, that's this number, and then that should equal the total area, pi r squared, 
pi times 7 squared. Have a go there and see if that is correct, yeah, because then you can feel confident and good about yourself. All right, all the best.